Okay, yeah, students, um, this is Michael. Uh, this is the first video I'm going to make. Uh, and in this video, we're going to talk about your assignment for Chapter 3, um, which is to program Blackjack. Um, so after looking through it myself, um, it seems that this kind of sample output that they want your program to have um, requires using a number of um, items in C++ that are kind of outside the scope of Chapter 3. Um, for example, uh, using loops uh, and, for example, maybe using functions. Uh, the way that I'm going to introduce doing blackjack is to use a loop. For example, it says right here, uh, next you might add a loop. Uh, and so, really quickly, um, let's look at kind of a logical flowchart that I have um, kind of documented. So this might seem a little bit overwhelming, but this is essentially all you need in order to get uh, a working version of the program. So um, I'll include this blackjack flowchart along with the YouTube video. Um, and inside of this uh, Google drawing, it has links to um, everything you would need in order to properly um, do this assignment. So I have a link to um, using while loops, um, the random function, um, if statements, as well as the C out and C in stream object um, objects in uh, C++. So let's just quickly, before I go through this entire flowchart, let's just see what um, a working version of the program would look like. So um, I'm going to move into uh, one of my programming environments. And you can see right here, um, when you want to start your code, you want to see um, in the console a welcome statement. And what happens in my program is that I have dealt my first two cards. I get a 4 and then a 9, so my total is 13. And then it prompts me, do I want another card? And I'll say yes, and then I press enter. And I'm dealt ones. So my total is 14 now. Do I want another card? Yes, I do. All right, I'm dealt three. My total is 17. Do I want another card? I'm feeling risky, so yes. And I was dealt five, so my total is 22. Um, and then basically I bust, and my total was 22. The dealer's hand is 18, and the dealer won. Um, what I like to, and then it asked me. Uh, at the very end, would I like to play again? And I can say, yes, I would like to play again. And then basically this entire loop that we had at the beginning where it welcomes me and gives me my first two cards and asks for another, this repeats. So now let's jump, hey again, uh, to that flow chart that we made. Okay. So, in your C++ program, um, one of the first things you're going to want to do uh, is declare the variables that you need. So, you're going to need, at the very beginning, you get dealt two cards. So, one card for the player, one card for the player, and then a dealer card, and a dealer card. And so you want player card, card two, and then you might want to have a variable that will add your two cards together. So for example, I was dealt a three and a three, so I'll have a total variable that will add card in card two. So it will store three plus three, plus six. And we'll do the same thing for the dealer. Um, and I'll get into these other two variables later, but let's talk about the loops now. So you can see um, in the main function, the first thing I have in here is while playing. 
So basically, this is the main while loop that is going to run everything in this code. You can see it, I have an arrow that extends all the way down to the very end of the program. So this is what allows me at the very end, when I'm done, I can take in input, do you want to play again? Yes, no. Um, and if we receive a Y um, for this variable playing, for example, a Y character will jump back to the top of this loop. Um, and then we'll run all the code beneath it again. So basically, um, while loops, um, all the code that will follow will execute while this statement is true, evaluates to be true. So, for example, you, while we are playing the game, this might be for example, for example, while some, some variable, variable that's called playing, playing. sorry, sorry. some variable some called variable playing, playing is equal to y. y. Um, so, so what we could do is we could have this be a, a, um, a character uh, variable, variable. And, and when it is when equal, it to, equal y, to y, we can run, run through all of this code. code. So, for so example, at the very end, end, when we ask, when do you want to play again, and we receive an n, this statement, statement is no longer true. true. Thus, the entire code entire will no longer run. run. So, so, playing, playing or, or whatever you whatever want you to call, call that variable, variable um, since we are receiving uh, y and n as input from the user, we might want to make this a character that can either be y or n. Um, so we have this while loop, and underneath it, we're going to want to deal the initial hands. So we'll make two cards um, that will be random values between 1 and 10 using, um, and you can do that using the rand function. Um, and there's a link right here to, for examples of how you would want to generate a number between 1 and 10. Um, so if you click on that, just pause the video, click on that, and then read through. Um, this reference material, and it will show you, for example, how you would generate a random number between 1 and 10. Um, so we deal the two cards to a player and then two for the dealer, and then we're going to want to add these two cards to a player total and then two cards to the dealer total. Um, and then we're going to want to add another while loop. And what this is going to do is, this is kind of, this will run all the code for dealing a single card. So while dealing equals a certain character, we will run through all the code that is included underneath this arrow. So. Let's assume that this is, you know, while dealing equals equals y at the very beginning. And then we're going to send output to the user. Do you want a new card? Yes or no? Um, and in order to do this line, you're going to need to use the C out and C in stream objects. And you can find reference material um, on how to use them over on the links. So if we receive a Y, we're going to want to deal uh -huh, another card for our player. So now they have three cards. And then thus we'll want to recalculate the total. And every single time we deal another card, we're going to want to include an if statement too. And we're going to want to see if their total has gone over 21. 
Um, if they if they does if the total it does go over twenty one, we're going to want to break out of this entire uh, while loop by including a break statement. So you can look up um, how to use a break statement also in the reference materials. But basically, what it does is it just stops executing any of the following lines of code, and it will break out of the while loop um, right here. So basically, what this will allow us to do in this while loop is we can continue to ask for another card by clicking Y and then Y again, assuming that we're under 21, assuming our total is under 21. Um, so what dealing is going to be is it's going to be something similar to playing, where it, it is in, um, declared as a car, a character um, variable. Um, so once we are done with this while loop, the dealing loop, um, we'll, we'll assume that we have um, basically taken as many cards as we feel comfortable doing. Um, without um, going over 21. So then after the player receives all the cards, um, we're going to want to implement a dealer strategy right down here, which basically will be that the dealer will receive another new card um, if their total is um, less than 17. So, while their total is, let's just say, less than 17, not greater than, um, add another card to their total. So, we're going to use another while loop um, in order to implement the dealer's strategy, um, which will be that we'll just generate a random um, card, a number between 1 and 10 and add it to their total um, while their total is less than 17. Um, so let's assume I have the dealer's cards right now. And coincidentally, it's actually 17. So um, let's just take a different example. So let's say they have a 7 and a 3, um, which equals 10 in total. So we'll just have a while loop in here. And it's going to say, while the dealer's total is less than 17. Um, and then underneath that while statement, um, it, what it will do is add a random number to their total. So their t total is currently 10. So um, while their total is less than 17, that is equal. That is a true statement. So we're going to add another random number to that, which is a 10. So now they are at 20. And our code will jump back to this while statement and it'll say, is the dealer's total less than 17? And that's false. So we jump out of that while loop and we are done with the dealer strategy. So hopefully that makes sense um, and that's clear. Um, finally, so once we're done with the dealer strategy and we've dealt all the cards for our player, we need to see who won um, between, we need to see if the player or the dealer has won. And what we'll do is we're going to um, compare the totals of the dealer and the player. So there are three possible scenarios. Um, there's a winning scenario, a tie scenario, or a loss scenario. And basically what these will be is they're all going to just be um, if statements that are comparing, oh, if the total is less than the dealer's total, um, or if the total is equal to the dealer's total, or if the total is um, greater than the dealer's total. Um, and you'll just need to account for all three of these outcomes, and then you're going to want to send a message to the um, console saying, you know, congratulations, you won. Um, or also just say what, you know, your total was blank. 
the dealer's total was blank. Um, you won, or you lost, or you tied. So you can handle all three of these um, scenarios at the very end um, using if statements. And there are plenty of reference materials under this link um, that will show you syntactically what you would want to write for an if statement. And then finally, the last line we're going to want to include is we need to ask the player if they want to play again. And we're going to send an output message, and then if they type in a Y, um, we're going to want to assign um, whatever the player inputs to our playing variable. We're going to want to basically say, um, send the um, the C in object and assign it to this um, character variable called playing. And um, if it is a Y, if it's equal to a Y, this initial while loop that's containing the entire game will rerun basically um, because while playing is equal to y everything below here will run again so this is basically the thing that kind of re-loops the entire game and will restart the entire game whereas if it's an n the entire basically there's no more code left to run in the program and it will just kind of stall uh, so again I'm gonna link this flowchart to um, the content of this video and please respond if you have any questions I know I kind of ran through this really quickly but um, hopefully if you look through any of the links that I provided if you're confused about a certain, um, you know, what a certain uh, piece of code is doing. For example, the, the break statement is something that um, you definitely haven't covered yet, nor have you covered the while loop. But again, the, the break statement, what it will just do is it will. Um, break out of the while loop that um, it is written in. So basically if the player busts and goes over 21, we just want to jump out of this while statement um, because basically they already lost. Um, so hopefully that will uh, this is enough information to get everyone a little bit uh, further ahead in their blackjack uh, assignments. And please respond with any questions you might have. Thanks.